there's nothing cleaner than only having my keyboard and trackpad on my desk. Except for when I accidentally bump it apart and it ruins my day. Enter the Magic Bridge from 12 South. Is this $35 piece of plastic worth it? Well, to us Apple fanboys, we seemingly have too much disposable income to second guess our purchases. Seriously though, I got this for two reasons. First, it ever so slightly elevates the typing angle, making it more comfortable. The Bear Magic Keyboard is pretty damn flat. Secondly, I used to have a Logitech K830 on my Windows machine, and I really like putting it on my lap as I recline back in my chair. The Magic Bridge provides those solutions for me. The entire piece is made of lightweight plastic with six tiny recessed rubber feet on the bottom. You can place the trackpad on either the left or the right of the keyboard. I like mine on the right. There is a spacer for the keyboard which elevates it about a millimeter. It effectively makes the trackpad now flush with the aluminum of the keyboard. This is different from the stock configuration where the surface of the trackpad is the same height as the keys. In my use, I found that this is a welcome change as I can distinguish the edges of the trackpad better without looking down. There are two round cutouts that you use to pop up your devices should you ever need to service them. There are cutouts for the charging ports and the on-off switches, but I do wish 12 South made a more bespoke design. All these cutouts are pretty darn ugly. Luckily, you won't be seeing the backside much when using this. There is a less expensive version on Amazon from B-Stand for about 30 bucks, but it definitely looks cheaper because it's designed to only hold onto the corners. The Magic Bridge looks like it was designed by the great Johnny Ive himself. What you're really paying for here are design, build quality, form, and function. These peripherals are tools I use for hours on end every single day. I think they deserve a good home.